my name's Paul Sharrod. I'm a vocalist and guitar player at the Surfing Birds. I'm Johnny Fingers. Uh, I'm the bass player in the Surfing Birds. Hi, my name is Liam. I play um, drums for the Surfing Birds. We're from the South Coast, from Weymouth. We're quite influenced by uh, the 60s surf sound, people like uh, Dick Dale and Link Ray. Our leanings are towards a, a heavier garage surf sound. And you know, I do wonder if the fact that we live by the sea has any bearing on the fact that we do play a bit of surf. God, I think that actually sounds, sounds yeah. good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really right, nasty, garage. You're up here with that, Graham? Yeah, I am. We're at Embassy Studios recording for Ambassador Records. We're just up here for the day, just doing like four tracks with um, Graham. of instrumentals, one called the Bird Stroll. I haven't really had much experience in any other bands. This is my second time you know, like recording. It was like dun, dun, dun. Would it help in that middle if you listen to me playing more and I'll sort of try and drag you along with what I'm doing? I'll keep that. This morning we've got the basic tracks down. We're going to start overdubs this afternoon. We've been gigging uh, locally around Weymouth for nearly a year now. We've been playing a lot of local pubs, local clubs. It's a great place, Weymouth, because there's a great music scene there. We just gig relentlessly, getting our set together, our sound, like well, what we wanted to do. I started off playing in like small pubs in Weymouth, and now we're playing like things like the Blues Kitchen. We just recently did Blues Kitchen in Camden, um, through Danny from the Caesars. Nice to be spreading our wings from a local town. The surfing birds from the south coast. We're going to do a link play tune. This one's called Ace of Spades. started at the end of 2010. Didn't really know what we were doing at the time. We sort of did, you know, a few old classics, Carl Perkins. And then we started doing surf music, cramps, B-52s, demented our go covers, things like that. We're a three-piece band at the moment. It hasn't always been uh, that way. Originally, we did have a rhythm guitar player. We had two bass players, one of them left, one of them moved to the Channel Islands. Um, so we got Johnny in. When he joined the band, he sort of made it a whole package, because before that, I think we were sort of trying to find our sound. He sort of brought a bit more of a punk sort of edge to it, which works as a three piece. three-piece I think has given us a, an edgier sound. Liam has to work that a little bit harder on the drums, I have to work that a little bit harder on the bass because there is no rhythm guitar. We take from the 60s and the 50s, but we, we try to put it in a, in, a, in a modern fashion, I would say, or, you know, try to revamp it slightly. Though diddly, we've been playing that, but we renamed it as Elvis Man. The thing we've just sort of done live over the last sort of six months, a sort of a, a loose jam. Started off as um, we used to do Bo Diddley, Bo Diddley, hey Bo Diddley. Well, I just one night, you know, I was just 
started jamming some lyrics to it. I can be with me, baby. I said, nah, I'm an Elvis man. Yeah, it's called I'm an Elvis man, honey, and I got the idea from watching uh, Pulp Fiction is when Uma Thurman turns around to um, John Travolta or Vincent Vega or whatever, and she said, there's only two types of men in this world, a Beatles man or an Elvis man, which one are you? I just thought, that's a great, great little saying for a song so I just yeah I just took it the music scene at the moment so corporate and so bloody organized a bit more like you need some tracks out there that are a bit a bit loose and a bit you know just a bit edgy we all have different like influences this one's called surf and the psychedelic yeah. fairly wide range of influences so i've grown up listening to a lot of uh, punk and psychedelic rock klaus flori from the dead kennedys and he's he's a solid rock and roll bass player I used to play in a, like a psychedelic uh, garage rock band, but it was more influenced by the late 60s, you know, bands like the MC5 and the Stooges and the Kingsmen. stuff as well like Jimi Hendrix I mean I still listen to all the Hendrix and he's one of my biggest idol guitar players <laughs> Loves Jimi Hendrix, and that's where he like gets a lot of his like guitar like movements from and like techniques. This is a bit of a medley of tunes. This one's by the Cramps. It's called Human Fly. Yeah, I love the old garage recordings like the Sonics, all them sort of bands, and and the Cramps. I know the seventies a bit later, seventies eighties. <laughs> Look out. Like my old rockers and my old uh, surf guitarists, uh, Dick Dale, Link Ray, um, Nookie Edwards from The Adventures. Over the years, as I've known Paul, we've both kind of got particularly Paul, he's got more and more interested in uh, some of the 50s guitarists and some of the jazz guitarists and certainly some of the uh, surf guitarist. dipped our toes into rock and roll and surf over the years. I know Paul has, and if Paul has, Liam has, because they're brothers. Both loved, you know, 60s surf garage, and brought the 50s rock and roll and rockabilly.
brother's a massive psychobilly head. Liam, the drummer, is a psychobilly fan and is also, I know he listens to a, sort of, a lot of ska music, so that's got to bring something as well. Let's try it again, yeah? yeah. If you don't nail it, Liam, you're not getting any wheat of all right? <laughs> and 90s garage and psychobilly. Bands like the X-Men and the Men and I Go and the Mummies and the Stingrays is kind of where I get my um, like drumming sound from. Psychobilly likes his high tempo drums. Easiest drummer I've ever played with because he is so solid. <laughs> influences have seemed to come together and, and, and gel. We've all come from slightly different places of listening, what we're into, but what it's done with the three of us has given us this big, fat, sinister surf sound. Stroll. That was like a re-recording. Had a few uh, ups and downs with the uh, drum beats and that, but we got there in the end. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Sounds great. Right. 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 Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'll do the guitar again. Yeah. Do all the I think I'll play it all a bit better. This is sort of a tester, I think, for um, the boys at Ambassador to sort of hear us, see what we're about. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah.